Welcome to Mathematics with Amps. Uh, today's lesson is grade 11 exponents. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Let's start with a revision of basics. So the basic theory of exponents that you studied in grade 10 is extremely important. We will now revise these important concepts. Let's look at the first law, and you'll remember far way back from grade 8, that if you multiply two terms, like a to the power m times a to the power n, then you add the exponents, so it becomes a to the power m plus n. Look at the example, 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 4 is then 3 to the power 3 plus 4, which is a 7. The second law, division, a to the power m divided by a to the power n, then we subtract the exponents, so a to the power m minus n. Example, 2 to the power 8 divided by 2 to the power 4 is therefore 2 to the power 8 minus 4, which is 2 to the power 4, which is 16. Number 3, a to the power m further raised to another power n is a to the power m times n. That means you multiply the two exponents. Example, 3 to the power 3 to the power 4 is therefore 3 to the power 3 times 4, which is 3 to the power 12, or you can also interchange, interchange the 4 in the 3. Number 4, a times b to the power m, that means you can distribute the m into the bracket and gives you a to the power m, b to the power of m. Example, 3x to the power 4, y to the power 3, to the power 2 is therefore. Now be careful now. Don't say 2 times 3. It is 3 to the power 2. So be careful now. So it's 3 to the power 2 because you multiply the 2 with the 1, which is the exponent of the 3. Then of course 2 times the 4 of x and 2 times the 3 of y. And that gives you, therefore, 9 because 3 to the power 2 is 9 x to the power 8 y to the power of 6 and then number 5 a over b to the power m you can also distribute the m into a and into b so therefore example 4 to the power 3 and x to the power 2 times 3 it gives you 64 over x to the power of 6 Exponential definitions. Well, let's look at the laws. Or oh, these are corollaries from the laws or deductions. Like if you look at the first one, that a to the power zero is one, or any term to the, any base to the power zero is always a one. Example, three to the power zero is one. The second uh, definition, one to the power a is one. That means one to any power is always a one. Like 1 to the power 2008, for instance, is 1. The third one, x to a negative exponent. How do we make it positive? By writing it under 1. For instance, x to the power negative 4 is 1 over x to the power positive 4. A, x to the power negative n. So remember, a is not part of x. So a remains as a numerator and only the x to the power n goes down to the denominator. For instance, 3x to the power negative 4 will remain 3 over x to the power positive. Take note, the 3 does not change anything. Then a x to the power negative n will be both a and x is under the negative n, so therefore both will go down. Look at the example, 3x to the power negative 4 will become 1 over 3x to the power positive 4. Number 6. If the negative exponent is in the denominator, you can transfer it up to the numerator and becomes x to the power positive n. For instance, 1 over x to the power negative 4 becomes x to the power positive 4. Number 7, a over x to the power negative n. So remember, a is the coefficient, so only the x goes up and becomes x to the power positive n. Look at the example, 3 over x to the power negative 4 becomes 3 to the power x Positive. Again, take note, nothing happened to the 3. The eighth one, 1 over x to the power negative n. You will notice a is going nowhere. However, x goes up, becomes x to the power 
positive n. Look at the example. 1 over 3x upon negative 4. So 3 remains in the denominator because its exponent is positive. And only the x goes up. Number 9, 1 over a x, all of it to the power of negative n. So both the term goes up and becomes positive. a x to the power n. Look at the example. 1 over 3x to the power of negative 4 becomes 3x to the power positive 4. Number 10, a over b to the power of negative n. You just interchange a and b. <coughs> a goes to the numerator and b and b goes to the, to the numerator and n becomes positive. Look at the example. 3 quarters to the power of negative 2 is 4 thirds to the power of positive 2. Number 11, a to the power of negative m, b to the power of negative n. Just a goes to the bottom, goes to the denominator, and b goes to the numerator, and they change their signs. Look at the example. x to the power of negative 3 over y to the power of negative 4. Interchange the two, and you become y to the power of positive 4 and x to the power of positive 3. Let's do our first example. Simplify a. Eh? Try to identify the laws as well. So 2a squared times 3a cubed times b to the power 0. So what we can do is we multiply 2 times 3, which is 6. a and a, we add the exponents, and b to the power 0 is 1. So therefore, the answer is 6a to the power 5. Look at b, then you'll notice that I have 3 to the power 5 times 3 to the power 1 times 3 to the power 3 over 3 to the power 2 times 3 to the power 6. So all of them have the same base. So therefore, you can, if you want to, multiply the 3 on top and add all the exponents, like the 5 plus the 1 plus the 3 gives you 3 to the power 9, and the same at the bottom, 3 to the power 8. Then you can take 3 to the power 8 up, Subtake it away from the 9, and you get 3 to the power 1, which is 3. Look at C, negative 3a cubed, B, all of it squared. So take note, if I square everything, the negative 3 becomes a positive 9. Then A to the power 3 times 2 is 6, and B to the power 1 times 2 is 2. So therefore, 9A to the power 6, B to the power 2, over A to the power 5, B to the power 3. Then a to the power 5 can sub be subtracted from a to the power 6. And b to the power 2 subtracted from the bottom one to avoid negative exponents. And therefore the answer is 9a over b. If you look at d, to make that negative 3 a positive 3, the exponent outside, you just interchange the numerator and the denominator. Take note, if you interchange, don't change the signs. Take, be careful. Now you can see, right, now we have 2 goes into 8 4 times. And then we can say y to the power minus 4 can come down to make it y to the power positive 4. And now we can say 4 to the power 3 is 64. x to the power 3 times 3 is x to the power 9. And y to the power 4 times 3 is y to the power of 12. Let's rewrite the following with prime basis and hence simplify without the use of a calculator. Like 16 is not a prime number, so therefore 2 to the power 4. 8 is not a prime number, so 2 to the power 3. And 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Then of course 4 minus 12 is negative 8. Bring it down, it becomes 1 over 256. If you look at B, 9 to the power 4, so 9 is 3 squared. 27 is 3 cubed. 4 times 2 is 3 to the power 8. Take the 3 to the power 3 up, subtract from the 8, and you get 3 to the power 5, which is 243. So, have a look at a few examples there. It is in your own interest to work through them, just to make sure that you still remember how to deal with these things. Because this is basically grade 10 work, but very important. So, please make sure that you work through all of them, and that you can do them.